Hi everybody, my name is Dart Pro. I'm a Sonic Adventure 2 Battle Speedrunner. Today we'll be having a look at the Green Forest Wall Run once again. Uh, this trick is pretty difficult, as it is, and so we are going to do our best to change that for you. The biggest problem, in my opinion, is that until now you've needed to guess at the spin dash angle once you're on the side of the loop. You need to go to the right just a little bit, but if you go too far right, you'll never make it back to the loop in time with all the speed you need. And if you don't go far enough over the side, you won't get o over the side. You won't be able to make it to the back of the loop and... Well, weird stuff happens if you're in the loop and you have some strange stuff. So, that's obviously not good. So the question I was facing a couple weeks ago was, how can we take the guesswork out? How do we, t how do we make the guesswork disappear from this trick so that it's all execution? And an unusual solution came to me, or I pretty much tripped over it. And the answer is we're going to use the camera. Uh, it's something we do in a couple ways in the other parts of the run, where we can use the camera to aim Sonic in a convenient direction. Uh, those of you who do Pyramid Cave Door Skip, for example, will know that we take advantage of where the camera is, we use a spot on the floor, and then the camera, just by holding up, takes us where we want to go. The exact same thing is going to happen here. Right now we have the problem with that up and right direction. You kind of have to guess depending on where Sonic is on loop and, you know, how you're used to doing it. And there's all sorts of factors that go into it. We, we want to take that out of it so that you can just do it the same way every time. So, really simply, all we're going to do is tweak the camera. Uh, if I were to say, let's say I want to go just barely off the side of this flat part of the loop instead of way up there. I could do that by having the camera normally and doing a spin dash over to the right. Okay. But I would have to guess, and that's the problem we face up there on the side of the loop. Or I could just tweak the camera so that if I hold straight up, I'll go off the side of the loop exactly like I want to. Because it's way easier to hold straight up on a controller, especially those of you using uh, a GameCube controller with detents in it than it is to have this weird up and right angle that you kind of have to guess at. I mean, you can practice it in, and you can do it, but I can tell you I've spent enough time on it that it's not comfortable even having put those hours into it. Suddenly, if I could just hold straight up and I can get that part of the trick without even worrying about it, I mean, this trick is... I wouldn't say it's easy any, at any point, but it certainly takes the guesswork out of it, and I definitely like that as a sing single segment runner. Less guesswork is good. So the same concept I just showed you here with tweaking the camera to the left to point Sonic in a convenient direction is exactly what we're going to do up on the side of the loop. Once I get up there, instead of leaving the camera where it is, I'm just going to tweak it over slightly to the left. Boop. Just like that. And that will make it so that the side of the loop goes just slightly to the left of my center of the screen. And that tells me that if I hold straight up, I will go off the side of the loop just barely. Just enough. That's just using the camera to steer Sonic for us and take the hard work out of having to guess all the time. Other than that, the trick is no different. I mean, you still have to do the left turn, still do the homing attack, get the loop speed, get on the side of the tree, do the tree thing, whatever one you choose to do, and continue on. Uh, that's all still there, but the only change is that this takes the guesswork out of the, out of the falling off the side of the loop. So that's probably the biggest weakness of the trick as it was, was the having the guesswork. Now, without the guesswork, we don't have to worry about it. So, once again, quickly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up on the side of the loop. I'm going to tweak the camera just to the left to get the loop to get Sonic aimed off the side of the loop, and then I'm just going to do the rest of the trick as normal, as you guys have seen it three times before, something like that. So, pretty simple change, pretty big effect. As long as you do the setup and you and you keep it in mind, it's really not that bad anymore. Let's uh, let's see if I can do this. There we go. No problem. So you saw the little dip of the camera to the left, and then suddenly, boom! All I had to do was hold straight up, and now here I am at the top of the stage in a horrendous time of five minutes and thirty seconds. But you know, I like to talk a lot, so give it a shot. I feel like this makes the trick much more viable for you guys that are still trying to learn it. And for those of you that are still really having difficulty getting that angle, and I'll admit I am definitely still one of them. If I had to go back to doing the trick the old way, I would still have difficulty doing it despite the hours of practice. 
um, it lets you move on to other parts of the trick that are in and of themselves tricky, but it turns the trick into less of a guessing game and keeps it so that if you, if the trick doesn't go right for you, that usually means that there's something you can change actively in your technique to make it work better for you. So, give it a shot, see what you get, and uh, as always guys, keep it fun. Thanks for watching.